And good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to WVRC 104.7 FM's coverage of Roan County High School Lady Raiders softball action. We welcome you from the beautiful facility in Doddridge County, West Virginia. At Doddridge County High School as we prepare for doubleheader action here in softball action for Roan County. The Lady Raiders coming in 14-5 and five overall on the season, 10-1 and one in the LKC East. That's important. Their opponent, Doddridge County, 19-6 and six overall. They are 9-1 and one in the Eastern Division. This doubleheader will find out who represents the Eastern Division in the first place uh, part of the LKC Night of Champions coming up this Friday at the Sumore Sports Complex. So one of two here today. Glad you could join us on WVRC. 104.7 FM, 104.7 FM.com, and of course, we are Facebook living it right now. Hopefully, we can stay on Facebook Live as well. Andrew Middle, alongside my partner Matt White, George Allen, is our studio technician back at WVRC Control. Very exciting opportunity here today for both of these teams, Matt White. If you get both of them, you know you're number one in the East, and that's big to play the two seed in the West. Yeah. Coming down here to the final stretch of the season, I mean, you know, every game along the way is important, but this one, you know, a doubleheader here this evening, beautiful evening, nice little breeze going. As you can see in the outfield now, if you're tuned in on the Facebook feed, going right to left. Major implications because if Roan County were to happen to sweep both of these games, uh, like you said, you solidify yourself in that one spot. If you split both of these games, you know, you know win one, lose one, makes things a little bit dicey here you know you could potentially be looking at tiebreakers as whether or not you're the one or two you still have a chance Doddridge still has to play South Harrison uh, later on this week uh, you know assuming a Doddridge County victory there you're looking at a tie between the two and uh, you know if, if all heck breaks loose here in Roan County would happen to lose both you're looking at potentially falling all the way down to a number three seed because at that point then you could be jumped by a Gilmer County team that's nipping right on the heels of the Lady Raiders. You really just have to play, you know, solid defense, something we've seen them do for the most part this entire year. It's going to come down to pitching. Is Mahaley Nicholson, is she able to consistently hit the strike zone? We, we've seen when she's able to paint those corners, she can be one of the most dangerous pitchers. You know, the last few games we've seen, she's gotten the control issues under control a little bit you know early on we saw some balls you know some uh, uh, out of the strike zone type pitches that were you know uncharacteristic you know we know what a great pitcher she is and uh, if, if that version of her shows up here tonight it's going to be very difficult for this uh, Dodgers Bulldog team to get any runs across the plate. We're going to see a pitcher's duel here today. Two of the best in the conference and sophomore Mahaley Nicholson and her opposition here today. Also a sophomore McKenna Curran, the lefty, is second in the Ohio Valley in strikeouts per uh, for the season. Number one is Mahaley Nicholson. She's got 178 Ks in a manner of 89 innings of work. So it's going to be an interesting doubleheader today. we got beautiful weather on this all-turf field in this great facility in Doddridge County. West Virginia. We're expecting a national anthem soon. We'll take a quick break for our sponsors. Come back. We'll have the starting lineups and the first pitch here from Doddridge County High School.
And we welcome you back to Doddridge County High School. We get set for game one of two here on WVRC. This is uh, a doubleheader for first place in the LKC Eastern Division between Roan County at 10-1 in the East, Doddridge County at 9-1. Let's look at the lineup for both teams. First off for Doddridge County leading off and playing third will be Abby Kelly batting second and playing second, Lexi Paul batting third. The shortstop, Jocelyn Lipscomb. Batting cleanup out in center field will be Olivia C. Fifth batter and batting or playing behind the plate, the catcher Rihanna DeHaven. Batting sixth and on the uh, or in the center circle today will be McKenna Curran. Batting seventh, first baseman Jada Smith. Batting eighth out in right field, Abigail Gagnon. Batting ninth and out in left is Shelby Dolly. For the Lady Raiders, back to the original lineup. Piper Harlan bats first. Out in right field, she will play. Center fielder Carly Greathouse batting second. Cadence Steele, the shortstop, batting third. Cleanup hitter is the first baseman, Lacey Mitchell. Katie Young behind the plate, batting fifth. Batting sixth, Mahaley Nicholson. She will be the pitcher. Batting seventh, the third baseman, Michaela Boatwright. Batting eighth, second baseman, Callie Williams. And rounding out the starters for Rome County. Fair Smelko will be batting ninth and playing left field. Lady Raiders in the maroon jersey tops here today, trimmed out in gray. They've got black numbers and letters in all capital letters, gray pants, and they've got the maroon socks with the Raider R on the front. Bulldogs in the white uniforms with the green pinstripes. Bulldogs across the front in green, trimmed out in yellow. And the, the pants and the, sorry, the uh, socks are in green as well. A beautiful day, beautiful facility, and two of the best in the East here for the Little Canal Conference. Yeah, like I said, this is a Doddridge County team. They really do have, you know, some potency on offense. They've put up a ton of points. You know, they've topped as much as 24 on the season. They've hit double figures in 10, games. <clears throat> 10 of their uh, 25 games. So, you know, we'll see how the defense of Roan County reacts. One of the biggest things, I think, for Roan County is you want to try to get on the board early. You know, you don't want to have to be trying to play from behind. It's always a, you know, tough task to do if you fall behind early in a game, you know, especially, like I said, with one of the better pitchers in the LKC. Roan County, no stranger to scoring, runs themselves 11 times. They have topped double figures all the way up into the 20s a few. They've scored nine in two other games. Rome County to the plate as the visitors in the top of the first. Piper Harlan digs in first against the lefty McKenna Curran. Curran rocks and fires, and we're underway here. Game scheduled to begin at five. We're just three minutes shy of that. First pitch from Curran missing low and away. 1-0 opportunity. That one up at the eyeballs. 2-0. We've got a great vantage point. We're behind home plate. Up against the netting and just off to the third base side. The only thing better is if we had a camera angle that wasn't through a net or a fence because that seems like where we're always at. 2-0 <laughs> offering as Curran finds the inside corner for the first strike of the game. That was a good looking pitch. That thing had some movement to it. 2-1 count. Lead off batter here in game one of our double header. Pitch swung on, fouled back off of the face mask of the catcher. As the Haven will go retrieve it down the third baseline. 2-2 two, two the count. Top the first, beautiful place here. This facility has just uh, amazed most people who have shown up to it. This is top notch in class single A. This is top notch for any class. Yeah, just throughout the entire state of West Virginia, this is about as nice of a facility from top to bottom as you're going to find. 2-2 two -two offering, sails low, and we're full to the leadoff batter. Harlan leads his team in triples. She's in double figures with 11 triples on the season. The payoff pitch, and Curran loses that one. One hops the catcher to Haven, and the leadoff batter he is aboard first base. That'll bring up Carly Greathouse, the center fielder. You notice some unique footwear for Rome County. We talked to Jesslyn Salvucci beforehand. A lot of the girls only brought metal cleats. And that's a no-no on a beautiful turf field like this. <laughs> uh, you're going to see some unusual footwear for her Rome County. The crazy thing is uh, many of these girls did not have regular shoes. 
And so they're borrowing shoes from anybody they can find them from. Some of them are coming from Doddridge County Bulldog players. A couple of swings off of fake bunt attempts, so and two the count to Great House. I like how she always shows that bunt. I think it just keeps her in good rhythm. We'll see if she does that again or just squares up. Got to protect the plate with this two strike count. Swing and a miss as Curran rises one up above the bat and the first out of the inning. Gated steel to the plate. Senior shortstop for Roan County. In her career, she has played every position. She's obviously quite versatile. Squares the bunt, backs off, and Curran fires one over the plate for strike one. Pretty much everything in the field, right? I mean, I know she's played at second, she's played at third, she's played at short, played in the outfield. She's caught before. 0-1 pitch down Main Street, 0-2. Curran fighting back after losing the leadoff batter, Harlan, at first. That just shows great athleticism. If you can play all those different positions, and have success at each one as well. 0-2 pitch off speed, good piece of hitting as Steele catches just the tip of it. Earns another opportunity against Curran. One on, one out, top first, no score from Doddridge County High School. Another 0-2 pitch, that one missing low, good eyeball by Steele. Count now one and two. Yeah, it was a good eye because that was a nice looking pitch from Curran. Curran rocks and fires this one. Jams the batter, popped up shallow second base area. And Lexi Paul into the mitt for out number two. Yeah, just unfortunate that one jammed her a little bit. Unable to get enough on that one to drive it into the outfield. So the junior, Lacey Mitchell, cleanup hitter, leads the area in home runs, five this year. First pitch turned on and ripped right through the gap between short and third. Unfortunately for Roan County, it was hit hard enough that Harlan, even with her good base running and speed, is stuck there at second. Mitchell, though, breaks through with the first base hit of the game. Runners on first and second for the catcher senior, Katie Young. She's been as good as anyone in the entire state behind the plate. Four-year starter, just an excellent poise behind the plate. Swings at the first offering against the netting behind home plate. 0-1 the count. Young retying those shoes, not sure if they're hers or not. Mahaley Nicholson in the on-deck circle. This is a dangerous offense for Roan County, but they're facing one of the best in Curran. Next pitch called, strike on the outside corner. Young disagreed, thought that might have been a little bit high. Yeah, not only is Curran good, but she's also left-handed, which makes it difficult if you don't see that a whole lot throughout the season. The only other one really is in Lewis County. Young, a healthy cut, catches a piece, stays alive with an 0-2 count. Harlan out at second, reached on a 3-2 walk. A strike out of Great House, a pop fly by Steele. And then the single by Mitchell, who is at first. 0 2 pitch. This one turned on. That one ripped into deep left field. Going back, it hits the bottom of the fence. One run will score. Here comes Mitchell around. She will score. And in with a stand up, two RBI double. And flexing on him is Katie Young. I just got a nice pitch, left it out over the plate. Got a good drive on it. I thought that one might have a chance to get out. With that wind blowing a little bit into the left field, but still a nice piece of hitting there from Katie Young. She'll get the courtesy runner. We've often talked about this Roan County team. If they have an out available in an inning, they have a chance for rallies. They do it a lot. We've seen times they've put up eight, nine, ten runs with two outs on the board. So coming to the plates, again, one of the best hitters statistically in the Mid-Ohio Valley, Mahaley Nicholson, batting up near 700 all year. Yeah, she was over 700 for a pretty good portion. She's probably sitting around, I'm going to guess, about that 680 mark. Square to bunt late that time, and Nicholson will back off. 
as Curran fires one right over the middle. 0-1 count. Well, you got to watch those. The defensive rotations, whenever you go to bunt, you got to watch your shortstop, make sure that they know exactly where they need to be on the field. That time, Doddridge played it perfect. Snap throw down to second as Burdett hustles back to the bag. 1-1 one, one the count to Nicholson. Two outs with a runner on second and a 2-0 lead early for the Lady Raiders. Curran rocks and fires in the dirt. This one poked away from the Haven, quickly retrieves it. And Burdett not about to move. You don't want to job, run yourself out of a possible third run this inning. Yeah, that, if you recognize that jump quickly, that one may have been far enough away, but not quite. 2-1 pitch, high heater, and Nicholson swings and fouls it off. Count even at two and two. Michaela Boatwright in the on-deck circle. We're in the top of the first. Game one of two here today. Here's the pitch, swing and a miss, and Curran. Two strikeouts in the inning. Roan County, though, plate two in the top of the first. They lead it 2-0. Bottom of the first inning to come. Doddridge to the plate. Bottom of the first inning we go, Roan County with two in the top half of the inning. They scored two on two hits, including the two RBI double by Katie Young. No errors defensively for Doddridge and one left on base. And we'll see Mahaley Nicholson. Again, Curran and Nicholson, two of the best in the LKC. And so Nicholson will get a chance to take a look at this obviously very good Offensive lineup for Doddridge County again. Ten times they have plated more than nine. First three to the plate, Abby Kelly, Lexi Paul, and Jocelyn Lipscomb. Kelly, the third baseman, digs in first from the right side of the plate. First offering from Haley Nicholson up at the eyeballs. 1-0 the count. Again, Roan County 10 and 1 in the East, 9 and 1 is Doddridge County. Nicholson rocks and fires two straight above the eyes. 2 and 0 the count to the leadoff batter, Kelly. And like we said before, big implications coming up for the LKC placement. Goes high as one, falls far as three. Nicholson looked to take a bit off of that one, Matt. Just trying to find the strike zone, she does. Makes the count two and one. You can kind of bank on the old strategy of waiting to see a strike before you're given the green light. Two one pitch missing inside. Two, three and one the count. Boat right over at third playing halfway in on this all turf infield. It's all turf, the whole thing. Three one pitch upstairs and Nicholson will lose the immediate batter just as Curran did in the top half of the inning. Base runner aboard, Lexi Paul, the second baseman. I think this hillside behind us may even be turf. <laughs> Grass is immaculate. Very nice. So Paul digs in, first pitch, squaring to bunt, right back to the pitcher, and Nicholson will take the out at first. That will advance Kelly into scoring position. Good small ball by Coach Hill. Yeah, do the job, advance the runner. I mean, 
Like I said, runs could be at a premium, or this could turn out to be a slugfest. <laughs> you just you really never know. But you know, if I was going to be a betting man, I'd say it's probably going to be a more of a low-scoring game. So you know, you want to try to manufacture runs wherever you can. Short stops. Jocelyn Lipscomb fouls one up near the actual school. Keanu and one. I wouldn't mind seeing a shootout. Let's see, I love offense. Yeah. I like great defensive play too, I guess. Nicholson toes the inside of the rubber. Here comes the 0-1. That one gets away from her. That's going to send Kelly over to third. Matt, that looked like it just fell out of her hand on the way through. Yeah, maybe just lost the grip on that one a little bit. Check the rosin bag and try to unmoisten those palms. <laughs> Count one and one, runner on third, one out, bottom of the first. Here's the pitch, that one turned on in deep gap oh, shot, left center field. That will one hop the fence. Great House will send it in, and halfway between second and third, boy, very lucky Lipscomb. She was way off of the bag, and the relay came in to steal over to Williams at second, and just able to get in there is Lipscomb, and boy, she's rubbing the front of her leg. And she really tore the cover off of that one for the RBI single. I thought that one might have a chance as well, just like the one that Katie Young hit in the top of the first. That one, one hop the outfield wall. Good throw in and good relay, nearly getting the runner off the bag at second. Cleanup hitter, center fielder Olivia C. Now she'll square to bunt. That one, one hops the catcher, Young. She'll throw out, and that's going to get into the outfield, and that will score the second run. And in games like this, Matt, errors could be costly. That one was as they had movement. Boatwright was charging on the bunt opportunity. Steele was a little late to get over to third base there on the pass ball. And Young fired it to the opposite side of where Steele was running, and that will cause a second run to score. I mean, the good of that is the ball was bringing – Young off the, to her left side toward that third base line is why she went ahead and threw that ball. But off balance, made a bad throw. And uh, that quick of a decision, no time for anybody to go over there and back that thing up because Steele was the one having to come over and cover the bag. So immediately in the bottom of the first, we're tied at 2-2. 1-0 count to C. Swings, fouls one against the netting, one and one. On deck is the catcher to Haven. Base is now empty for the Bulldogs. And a 1 1 count to C. Nicholson rocks and fires high heats. Foul tipped into the glove. Nicholson ahead in the count 1 and 2. Top second, Roan County will have the bottom of the order at the plate, seven, eight, nine. One, two pitch, off speed, nubbed back towards the mound and a nice play there. Nicholson had to knock it down on the backhand attempt and showed the patience to fire across. She's got a good arm into the glove of Mitchell for out two. Yeah, good job on that one to hurry but not rush because that's one of those if you, uh, you know, you, you get too ahead of yourself, you can really let that one fly. Good job making that nice play. Yeah, Russians where the airmail throws come in. So DeHaven, the catcher, stepping into the right side of the batter's box. First pitch, strike at the knees. 0-1 the count. I've kind of got two in the top of the first. Two manufactured back here in the bottom. We're tied at two apiece. Off speed on the 0-1. That one placed nicely into the gap between first and second. The throw in from Harlan was looking at first base. That was hit hard enough that she thought maybe a chance to get to Haven before she got to the bag, but that throw goes over the head of Mitchell. Good backstop play, though, by the backup, and that's the catcher, Katie Young, always moving. Yeah, that's the thing, thing about baseball, softball. There's something to do on every play. Yeah, if you're doing it right, there's something to do. You know, anytime there's something moving, you got to have somebody coming over to back the play up. And good job there again, senior leadership from behind the plate. 
So a two-out single for DeHaven, runner at first. And the pitcher, Curran, digging in from the left side of the batter's box. First pitch to Curran, just missing outside. They'll send DeHaven on the pitch, and that one jumped out of the glove of Young. I just couldn't get a quick, clean transaction from glove to hand to try to make an attempt there. 1-0, healthy cut, swing and a miss. Curran timed that right, just above it. Bottom first, two outs. Go ahead run early here at second into Haven. Pitcher's duel here, 1-1 one, one count and a great stop behind the plate by Katie Young. Slid right over there and scooped that one off the turf. Two and one the count. That's one of the things with turf. You're going to get a clean hop. You're not always used to those when you play on dirt all the time. Next pitch gets away upstairs, three and one. First base is open. On deck is the first baseman, Jada Smith. 3-1 delivery upstairs. And the inning will continue here with two outs. Runners at first and second now. We're tied two to two here in the bottom of the first inning. Game one of our doubleheader between the top two teams in the Little Canal Conference East Division. Somebody can stamp number one seed here today. Let's go, let's rip a double here. Another gapper. First pitch to Smith, fastball down the middle and to Haven, swipes another bag. Oh one one count now to Smith. Runners at the corners. And that's a good one because then that sets up perhaps Kieran taking off for second. A one pitch. Young trying to frame that one on the outside corner. Did not work. And Curran will head down to second. So the force out taken away. Worry about the batter at the moment now. Smith with a 1-1 one, one count. Nicholson rocks and fires, and that one stays outside as well. Two one offering, took a little off. Down the middle for strike two. Two two counts. That's a good one moving to the inside corner. Excellent fight back pitch. He said 2-2, two, two. you just got to worry about the batter up here at the plate. Here comes the 2-2 two, two pitch, low and inside. Again, Young equal to the task. It's a short backstop, but it is brick. So if it hits off this brick, you never know where it's going to go. Full count now to batter number seven in the order. The payoff pitch right down. Main Street? Boy, I thought that was strike three. And now they've got DeHaven off the oh. bag and they throw it away again. A second throwing error for Roan County will cause another run to advance. I thought that was strike three, Matt. That was... I look ooh. like it to me. <laughs> I think Young thought it was strike three as well. Nicholson certainly wanted strike three. I think that kind of caught everybody by surprise at so that might have been why DeHaven was off the bag. She may have thought it was <laughs> strike three as well. I think she was off the bag getting ready to walk to the dugout. We were all fooled, Matt. We were all fooled. So DeHaven comes in to score on the error on the throw. Curran advances to third. And on all that chaos, Jada Smith, who was at first with the walk, is now out at second. Yeah, I mean, they had the Haven dead to rights if they could have completed that catch. Fortunate for Doddridge that that one went awry. So Lady Raiders took the lead 2-0 top first. It's now in the hands of the Bulldogs here in the bottom of the first inning. A lot of the chaos happening after the second out administered. 
A single, a pair of walks, and two errors throwing. Brings up number eight hitter, right fielder. Abigail Gagnon, who looks on at strike one. Dare I say that was pretty close to the one we just saw. <laughs> Got to be extra careful and quiet. We're very close to the ear shot. A little late swing on that pitch. 0-2 oh, now. Level swing here. O2 delivery, swing and a miss, and that will get Roan County out of the inning. Not before, Doddridge strikes with three in the bottom half of the inning. They lead it after one, three to two. Roan County to the plate after this. We welcome you back to Doddridge County High School after one complete inning, three to two. <coughs> Lady Bulldogs got three in the bottom half of the inning. A pair of hits, a pair of errors for Roan County did not help the cause. And we move to the top of the second. And the first pitch that Michaela Boatwright sees is going to be a single into shallow right field. It got behind the right fielder, uh, Gagnon, and that will advance Michaela Boatwright into scoring position to lead off. One pitch, one swing, and a bloop single for Boatwright. Yeah, that's a way to start off an inning. You know, you already get a runner in scoring position. Trying to play from behind now, three to two. Bulldogs on top. Callie Williams digs in, squares the bunt, backs off, and sees the first one down the middle. Seven, eight, nine to begin this inning. But right, Williams and Fair Smelko. The lefty Curran fires one, swing and a miss. Oh, and too quickly to Williams. Callie, one of those four seniors honored on Senior Day, our last broadcast. 0 oh, 2 pitch, swing and a miss, and Curran with her second strikeout of the day. And that was a 1 2 3 -er. So the number nine hitter and the left fielder, Fair Smelko, the freshman. That's lefty. First pitch as she went after that bunt attempt. Missed it. Oh, and one. Going to try to advance that tying run from second to third if possible. Yeah, you'd love to be able to do that with the top of your order coming up next. Squared the bunts and looks at strike two. Whew. Protect the plate time now for the freshman. 0-2 pitch, swing and a miss. Back-to-back -back strikeouts for McKenna Curran. And back to the top of the order we go. Piper Harlan, a battle, her first plate appearance, a 3-2 walk. Scored on the two RBI double by Katie Young. Top of the second, Roan County trailing three to two with two outs. Curran's first offering is upstairs and DeHaven throws it over her head again. I think that's on purpose, Matt, obviously. Yeah, kind of like maybe just trying to keep the base runner honest. You're not necessarily trying to throw them out, just make sure they don't get too big of a lead. Next pitch fouled against the netting. Count even at one and one. These two teams will square off again. Following this first game, again, Roan County at the moment atop the East at 10 and one. Doddridge a half game back at nine and one. 
1-1 pitch off speed, popped up shallow left field coming in as Dolly. And she will clasp it for out number three. A quick one for Roan County in the top of the second. A base hit, but no damage done. 3-2 Doddridge Lady Bulldogs to the plate after this. We move into the bottom of inning number two, and it's three to two, Doddridge County. Roan County, a base hit to lead off by Boatwright in the last half inning, no damage. No runs, one hit, no errors, and one left on base. Bottom two we go, 9-1-2 coming to the plate. They'll be led off by the left fielder, Shelby Dolly, who finished off the top half with the putouts. First pitch from Nicholson, fastball at the knees, swung on and missed. 0 oh, and 1 the counts. Top of the order awaits on deck with Abby Kelly. Next pitch fouled off. 0 oh, and 2. Come on, Shelby. Let's go. These two teams are so similar throughout the year, just in their offensive output, the teams that they have split with. Gilmer County is the one just uh, thinking about this doubleheader today. 0-2 pitch popped foul. The reason is Gilmer County has split with both Lerone County and Doddridge. Those are the only losses for both of these teams. And Gilmer County has just two losses on the season. So they're sitting in third place right behind these two programs. Here's the pitch off speed. And out in front is Dolly. There's strikeout number two for Mahaley Nicholson adds to her career total, or not career, well, I would say career, but this year's total. She's now at 180 in 91 innings of work. Top of the order, Kelly, who walked and scored a run on the RBI double by Lipscomb. Swings at the first offering. Oh, and one. Get a real swing. Another half-hearted swing. Nicholson rocks and fires, low inside pitch, one and one. Let's go one four. And this is the last game, or the last two games in conference for Roan County before the placements or the Night of Champions this Thursday and Friday. Doddridge still has one left in the east. Here's the pitch, that one blasted into deep right center field. That's gonna get over Greathouse's head. Kelly rounding first into second with a stand up double. That was just a nice piece of hitting. Got one to drive. And we've seen a few of those popping off the bat here early in this ball game. You leave them out over the plate. Doddard's taking advantage. Brings up Lexi Paul. <laughs> sacrifice bunt in the first inning on a 1-3 put out. First pitch popped up foul territory. That will just get over the cage. Oh, and one. So, Roan County, you think about it, you really would be best served to win both of these games if you could because there's one more for South Harrison, or one more for Doddridge against South Harrison, and that would give them an extra victory. Next pitch popped just off the top of the bat. Oh, and two. We went through some of those scenarios as we were driving here. If Roan County and Doddridge split, Roan County will be 11-2. Doddridge would be 10-2. And, and then Doddridge would have 
that extra game to make them 11 and 2, and then things would get chaotic. They go to the tiebreaker number 12. Next pitch missing low, and Bulldogs active on the base pass. The Haven took a pair the first inning, and now Kelly swipes third. You could tell Young wasn't even going to risk that one, just taking the chances, trying to freeze frame the pitch. One two offering, popped up foul again as Paul battling at the plate. Bottom second, 3 2 Bulldogs. Rome County struck first in the top of the first with two. Bulldogs got three back in the bottom half. A 1 2 pitch grounded towards third. Nice play by Coach Zell. I wasn't quick with the reflexes to catch that one on camera, but yeah, nice barehanded stab over there from the third base box. Count remains one and two to Paul. Another opportunity, that one low inside, two to the count. Jocelyn Lipscomb, the shortstop on deck. A 2-2 pitch, this one checked towards short. Gobbled up across the diamond and in time. They've got the runner at first, but another sacrifice this time, a sack RBI by Paul. That will add to the lead for Doddridge, four to two as Kelly comes home to score. Yeah, that was the only play to be made on that one. You just gotta take the out that you can get. You'll sacrifice the run in, but you know, four two lead only in the bottom of the second. Plenty of time for Rome County. Base is now empty and Lipscomb had the big RBI double back in the first inning. Looks on at strike one. Nicholson working quickly from the pitcher circle. Swing and a miss. Well, foul tip, sorry. Had to give credit where it's due. 0 oh, 2 the count now to Lipscomb. On deck, cleanup hitter, center fielder Olivia C. You can see out there left and center field, they are playing very deep in the three tech. 0 oh, 2 pitch popped up in the infield. Steele camping under it, calling for it, and making the grab for out number three. One aboard, though, uh, and the lead now four to two after two complete innings here from Doddridge County High School. Roan County to the plate after this. We welcome you back to Doddridge County High School and the softball facility after two complete innings in game one of our twin bill today. It is four to two, Doddridge, the Lady Bulldogs, one run, one hit, no errors, nobody left on in the bottom of the second. We move to the third and for Rome County, two, three, four to the plate, Carly Greathouse, Cadence Steele, Lacey Mitchell, Greathouse looks on at the first pitch in the dirt from Curran. 1-0 offering, popped high into the sky, straight away center field, moving in is C, and she will make the grab. That's fighting the sun, Matt. That sun is shining right in from over our heads. Yeah, that's going almost uh, right into left center field area. That'll make it difficult, and as this game moves on and that thing gets a little bit lower, it's gonna get even worse. So Steele will dig in. Popped up to the second baseman, first plate appearance. Now she'll poke one ground ball 
over there to Paul, and Paul underhands it to first. So quickly, two up, two down in the top of the third. And Lacey Mitchell wasted no time her first plate appearance. Swung at the first offering, ripped a gap single. Ended up scoring on that two RBI double by Katie Young. Lays off the first opportunity here. That one just low at the ankles. Mitchell again, five dingers this year. Inching ever so close to Roan County's record. Next pitch, swing and a foul ball over the first base dugout side. And we talk, and talk normally and no, numerous times about Mitchell getting that hot streak started last year, midway through the year, and she's just not let off the gas pedal. Yeah, just uh, really has developed her game into a really good all-around player, all-around hitter. Lays off the high heat. She's just seeing the ball so well here this year. You know, that's reason behind those five home runs. Ahead in the count here, two and one. Off-speed pitch, waited as long as she could. Mitchell still out in front of that one. And the count evens at two apiece. Rome County trying to avoid a three-up, three-down third as they trail by two here in game one. The 2-2 pitch, Shoe and Mitchell went after the high heat and a 1-2-3 top of the third for Curran and the defense. 4-2, the lead for the Bulldogs and Dodgers to the plate after these messages. Moving into the bottom of inning number three. Their score here in game one of two. Doddridge leading Rome County four to two. Lady Raiders got on board first in the top of the first with a pair of runs on a two RBI double by Katie Young. In the bottom half of the first though, a couple of base hits including a double by Jocelyn Lipscomb and two errors for Rome County adding two more runs to the total. Rome County unable to connect in the second in the bottom of the inning. A sack RBI by Lexi Paul adding the fourth run. And the top of the third, Roan County goes down quietly. One, two, three. Bottom third, and we'll see Olivia C. Been waiting for that one. C grounded back to Nicholson in the first inning, first plate appearance. She'll look on at one outside of the zone. Wind starting to whip in here up on the hill at Doddridge County High School. 1-0 pitch, smacked foul against the sign behind the cage. 1-1 one, one count now. We're in the bottom of the third here in game one of two. Again, Roan County came in 14 and five overall, 19 and six, Daughters County. What we're looking at here is the Eastern Conference standings. Roan County right now atop the conference at 10 and one, a half game back, Doddridge at nine and one. And then you've got Gilmer County looming with just the two losses in the East. A one, one pitch, swing and a miss. So many things can be determined, and many things are still yet to be determined today. 
Again, Matt mentioned you can fall from first to third just like that after today. One, two delivery. That one slides inside, two and two. Thing you gotta watch out for too with this wind coming in. There's some chance of rain in the forecast on this evening. Start about eight, nine o'clock, about 30 to 60% chance jump, so. 2-2 two, two pitch, that one gets away upstairs. Full count now to Olivia C on deck is DeHaven. If this game, both of these games are going long innings, we might be making a run up the stairs for a canopy. 3-2 pitch, that one, one hops. Young behind the plate and C aboard first with the walk. That is the fourth walk of the game issued by Mahaley Nicholson again. We have uh, seen games where she has struggled with control, but those were mostly, Matt, in the first half of the season. Yeah, she had settled down for the most part here the last few games. See if she can grind it back here with the Haven at the plate. She's got to keep battling. First pitch missing low. De Haven singled in the first inning and then scored on an error. You just got to keep grinding after it, like you said, and just keep this game close because you know your offense has the potential. Throw down to second and not in time as Bulldog base running continues to be good. Yeah, they're just being really aggressive on the base paths, and it's paying off here early in this game for Doddridge. The Haven let that one go on the 1-0 pitch, now 1-1. One one. Runner in scoring position, bottom of the third. Pitch inside corner, strike two. That's just excellent location with that one, painting that inside corner. Nicholson rocks and fires and a late swing. Boy, DeHaven just catching a piece of that one, stays alive. We'll see another one-two pitch. Yeah, that was a nice one working back to the outside corner. Realized that one was probably going to be a strike and just had to take a cut at it. Count remains one and two. The pitcher Curran on deck. One, two pitch, just missing low. They're going to send the runner down to third. No throw. Two and two, the count. And Coach Zell just saying, hey, when you're on the base pass, girls, you're running. You're running every single time. And everybody's getting the green light, trying to advance runners. And like you said, it's been working so far. Two, four, two lead. Pitch chopper towards third. Boat right will take it. She'll go to first. And the throw on the run misses wide. That's going to send to Haven to second and around to third. And the throw to third, not in time. I'll tell you what I'm seeing here, Matt. Right now, Roan County looks a little bit tense. A little bit, maybe. I mean, it's a little jet lag. Not from quite the, long the energy. Ride. Yeah, not you know, quite the energy. The energy's not quite there all around. That was a good defensive play to field that one. You just got to plant your feet. You can't try to make that throw on the run. Had plenty of time. And just let that one sail wide. So DeHaven ends up all the way over at third. The lead now for the Bulldogs, five to two. Still no outs here in the bottom of the third inning. Curran. <coughs> First one fouled off. Curran walked on five pitches. She'll lay down a bunt right here. Roan County will take the outs. And that will score the sixth run of the game. Small ball, Matt. That is what we're watching, and that's what we usually see out of Roan County. Right now, it's just Bulldogs on the base pass and running. Yeah, beautiful turf field. They're used to turning it into a track meet. And that's exactly what's happening here. Just working the base pass to perfection is Doddridge County. That is the fourth sacrifice, Matt, in the ball game for a batter, and two of them have scored runs. So it tells you just what is working here for the Bulldogs. 6-2 the lead, one out now, base is empty. And a 1-0 count to Jada Smith. Walked in the first inning on a full count. Stranded at second. Nicholson rocks and fires down the middle. That looked like an angry pitch by Nicholson. She really humped up on that one. 
We're good. We need to get a little bit of fire in our bellies. Six to two trailing here in the bottom of the third. One one pitch and then she comes back with the off speed action. Good mixing up of the pitches that time. One and two the counts. Gagnon on deck. Next pitch, swing and a miss, and strikeout number three issued by Nicholson. And that'll do a good fight back after a tough start to the inning, getting a back-to-back -back outs is Nicholson. Now two outs and no one on, runner, or the batter, sorry, is Abigail Gagnon, the right fielder. She'll swing at the first offering behind it. Swing level now. 0 one count. She struck out to end the first inning. Squaring to bunt and catching a piece of that one. Oh, and two now. Number nine hitter Dolly on deck for Roan County in the top of the fourth. Five, six, seven due up. Katie Young, Mahaley Nicholson, Michaela Boatwright as Roan County will begin or try to begin this comeback now down four. Oh, and two the count to Gagnon. And the pitch, swing and a miss, and Nicholson strikes out the final two and gets out of the bottom of the third. Damage, though, two across, and it's now 6-2. to two. Lady Bulldogs on top, the fourth inning after this. We welcome you back to Doddridge County High School at the softball facility after three complete innings. It's Doddridge County leading in game one of our doubleheader, six to two. The Bulldogs adding two more runs to their lead. No hits in that inning. A sacrifice, an error, and nobody left on. Katie Young to the plate. First pitch missing outside. Young had the big bat in the first inning, ripping that two RBI double. Getting Roan County off to a good start. See if she can give Roan County a spark offensively because they've had nothing since. Yeah, the second and third innings has been kind of sparse for Roan County's offense. Just one base hit, Matt, in that whole time. Two and oh the counts. Lefty Curran has mm. been confident. And Young swung at one as she, she looks <laughs> down at Coach Williams with a wry smile. I'll tell you, she's always having fun. Said, yep, that was at my eyeballs. I know it. 2-1 the count now to Young. Next pitch missing low, 3-1. and one. That was a good location on that pitch. Good eye, though, by Young not to take a cut at it. And Curran and the defense after that first inning have given up just one base hit. That's the only base runner that's been aboard since the first for the Lady Raiders. 3-1 pitch. That one's going to one hop to Haven. And for the second time, Roan County has a leadoff runner on base by way of walk. The first time was the top of the first when Harlan did it. Looking for any kind of connection I can get. Lexi Burdett coming in to pinch. Run for Young as Mahaley Nicholson coming to the plate. Nicholson again, one of the top hitters in not just the area, honestly, one of the top hitters statistically in the state of West Virginia. She was unable to do anything against Curran the first time, striking out with a 2-2 two -two count. Curran delivers one upstairs to begin this at bat. 
On O pitch at the eyes, two and O. So get down a little bit, kid. Boatwright stands in the on-deck circle. She has a base hit in this one. Rome County trailing six to two. Top of the fourth inning. Here's a chopper towards second. Going to be a tough play. Got to go quickly. And just in time is Paul to Smith for out number one. That will advance Young, or sorry, Burdett into scoring position. And Boatwright to the plate. Blooped a single over to shallow right field, her first plate appearance. Yeah, you know, Nicholson was trying to get more out of that one, but, you know, you advance the base runner, you're only a four-point deficit. Still a couple innings left before you need to be in panic mode. Chin music on the first offering to boat right of this at bat, high and tight. to see if you can manufacture something out of this inning and get yourself back in this ball game. Boatwright swings hard, but a little late. That one fouled first base side, one and one the count. Don't need it all bad as back at once, as Matt says. Just try to get something on the board to feel good about yourself. You've given up runs in every single inning defensively to the Bulldogs. And like I said, after a good start to the ball game in the first, you've struggled offensively. Next pitch from Curran in the dirt, or in the pellets, <laughs> the rubber pellets. Two and one the count. Burdett out at second, one out here in the top of the fourth. Self-protection swing that time, fouled out of play, two and two. It's all right, they said get a protect the plate, try to get one in play, even if all it does is advance the base runner. Yeah. Take what you can get at this point. Yeah, just work your way back into it. Just uh, hope that your defense can settle in. 2-2 Two -two pitch, that one called, strike at the knees. And that is strikeout number one, two, three, four, five, six. For Curran. <coughs> Two outs now, and Callie Williams to the plate. One of those six strikeouts back in the second inning. Where's the bunt? Pops one up right by DeHaven, who comes out in fair territory and grabs it for out number three. Once again, Roan County just a base runner and no damage. To the bottom of the fourth we go. Bulldogs leading six to two. Moving into the bottom of inning number four, your score, Doddridge County six, Rome County two, game one of two here between the top two teams in the Little Kanawha Conference East Division. This doubleheader may decide first place and second place and third place today. We're in the bottom of the fourth, Rome County were only able to manage a base runner on a walk in the top of the fourth. No runs, no hits, no errors, and one left on. 9-1-2 due up here. Shelby Dotley, the first to the plate, looked at a ball. Next pitch, swung on and missed. One and one. Dolly struck out to begin the second inning. It's a nice drop pitch. That one went low in the zone. And hit her way over top of that one. 
On one pitch, chopped towards third. Boatwright fields it cleanly and across to first for out number one. Boatwright did a much better job that time of setting her feet and making that throw. She's got the arm strength. You just got to settle yourself in with your footwork. Top of the order we go, Abby Kelly. She scored both times at the plate here. She walked and scored on an RBI double by Lipscomb in the first. She doubled and scored on Paul's sacrifice RBI in the second. First pitch of this at bat, high and outside. Appreciate everyone joining us on all three phases. The radio station, 104.7 FM, streaming audio, WVRCFM.com, and we are Facebook Live on our station. 1-0 pitch, that one missing away, 2-0. Paul in the on-deck circle. Roan County here in the bottom of the fourth, trailing 6-2. to 2-0 two. Two count, that one in the Pebbles, 3-0. and oh. And what you're going to see is if Kelly happens to get on, I guarantee you steals are coming. She'll switch over to lefty here for the 3-0 pitch. And she'll see a strike. Three and one, moving right back over to the right side of the plate, just giving Nicholson's eye a different look there. We saw that last year whenever Katie Gone would get on, they would put Carly Greathouse to kind of fake bat left-handed. Three, one pitch. And that one missing. And now Katie Young is asking She's asking, where was that? <laughs> <laughs> and she's seen a lot of pitches this year and in the last four years. So Kelly aboard first, be careful for a run. Hit and run, whatever it might be. Bunt and run, Kelly's gonna take off. Good stop behind the plate, keeping Kelly at bay at first, but Paul ahead in the count already, one and zero. She's got a pair of sacrifices. A sack bunt in the first to advance Kelly and a sack RBI in the second to score Kelly. Here's a check swing over towards second. Fielded cleanly. Here's a double play opportunity, not in time as Paul beats it. But what a play by the second baseman, Callie Williams to the knees, the backhand gets up quickly and gets the lead runner at second. Yeah, made a beautiful play on that one. It was a good slide into second, I think, to disrupt Steele's timing, or that one could have been a double play opportunity, but you know, a good job, though, to get the lead runner. So Paul safe on the fielder's choice. First pitch to Lipscomb. This one is chopped barely shallow into center field, and Greathouse nearly made a tremendous play, Matt. A lot of ground to cover right over top of the Bulldog, and that one just out of the reach of the glove. Yeah, she was playing kind of in that middle area in the outfield. Had to cover a ton of ground to even make a play on that one. And you would have really had to have went full on Superman mode to have been able to catch that one. Lipscomb, of course, ripped that RBI double in the first inning. So she's two for three and that'll bring up the cleanup hitter, Olivia C. Ground out in the first inning, walked, stole a base and scored in the third. Squares to bunt. Back soft, nope, they'll say she went. And the runners advance, though. That's just what we're talking about, Matt. No more force out opportunities. You got to get the batter now. Those little things in small ball are differences. 0 oh, 1 pitch, swing and a miss. Boy, a healthy cut by C. Behind in the count now, 0 oh, and 2. Roan County trying to blank the Bulldogs for the first time today. They have scored in each of the first three innings. They've got runners at second and third with two outs here. The 0-2 pitch, that one missing low and inside. Be a great battle back for Nicholson here to keep him off the board. The Haven in the on-deck circle with the pads on. 1-2 pitch, popped up foul. Good plate appearance, C battles, stays alive. For Roan County in the top of the fifth, it'll be 9-1-2 to the plate, Smelko, Harlan, and Greathouse. 
As we're seeing these innings get fewer and fewer, the opportunities will be as well. Giving up runs later in the ball game makes it more difficult to get them back. One, two count. The pitch, that one sails away and C lays off it. Count even, two and two. A 2-2 pitch, and C lays off again, three and two the count. Good eye at the plate, battling back here. Three, two count, two out. Bottom four, six to two Bulldogs. Green County looking to get out of the jam. See if Nichols can, this Nicholson can grind it out here. Here comes the payoff pitch. That one missing low and ball four issued. Now at, that, at the moment, that doesn't affect you, Matt. That uh, gives you an opportunity, obviously, for a force out at any base, but you got to do it against the Haven. Yeah, it's tough out. You just got to hope to maybe keep it low in the zone, maybe even stay out of the zone a little bit, maybe try to make her put one on the ground and give your infielders a chance. Bases loaded, two outs in the bottom of the fourth, 6-2. Bulldogs, bunt attempt here. And Haven fouls that one off. Singled, scored on an error in the first inning. She reached on an error in the fifth inning, or the third inning, sorry. Also scored in that one. She received a sack RBI for that because she put it in play with a runner at third who scored anyway. I got a lot of sacks written on my Doddridge side of things. They have really been small balling it very, very well. 0-1 count. Haven squares again. She'll lay one down. That one goes foul. Young tried to get to it in fair territory. Just a little too much English on it. Yeah, made a good, good jump on that ball. Just couldn't quite get there. And that was the only play to make. And Unfortunately for Rome County, it just trickled foul. Oh, and two, bases loaded. Nicholson in the defense trying to get out of the, the, the inning with no damage done for the first time. The 0-2 pitch, this one ripped towards the first base area, fielded by Mitchell. Mitchell hustles to the bag, and she will beat DeHaven, and then DeHaven and Mitchell collide and Mitchell is down. That was Mitchell extending that leg mat right to the corner of the base and then she and DeHaven collided and Mitchell got the worst of it. Yeah, she got there quickly, made a nice play. You gotta hope that maybe that's just a simple ankle injury and nothing more severe than that. Definitely hate, would hate to lose. Who's Lacey at this point in the season? Well, we'll take a break and we'll come back. We'll check on the status of our first baseman, Lacey Mitchell. We'll move into the fifth, 6-2, Doddridge County after this.
And we welcome you back to Doddridge County High School after four complete innings. It's Lady Bulldogs leading the Lady Raiders by a score of six to two. Roan County for the first time here in the four innings of work defensively blanking the Bulldogs. Doddridge got three in the first, tacked one more on in the second and two more in the fourth, or in the third, sorry. Roan County got there two in that first inning. And since then, they have only managed two base runners, one in the second, one in the fourth. Now, the final play of the inning previous, which was the bottom of the fourth inning, there was some controversy at first base on the putout by Lacey Mitchell. She fielded it cleanly herself, and she stepped on the inside of first base and then collided with the Haven. And I think that's where the questions were being asked by Coach Salvucci is, if she was in the fair territory or out of the baseline or whatever, but uh, he was just talking it over to make sure he got clarification there. So at the top of the fifth we go, Roan County with three more plate appearances available here in game one. Fair Smelko to lead it off, first pitch low. Smelko struck out on three pitches in the second inning. Part of a six strikeout day so far. Here's one nub towards first side. That's gonna be a tough play and no play to be made for the second baseman, Lexi Paul. She charged it quickly, Matt, but as soon as that one came off the bat, it was a swinging bunt, and that's what Smelko does well. Yeah, she does that well, and like I said, we said it all along, when you're a left-handed batter, you've got an advantage because you've got a quicker start out of that box going down the first baseline. If you can make any kind of contact and you've got any kind of speed, you can leg those out. Fourth base hit of the day for Roan County against Curran. Lead off, runner aboard. That's what you need when you're looking to come back from down four. Piper Harlan looks on at one upstairs, 1-0. One oh. Harlan reached on a walk and scored in the first. Popped out to left field in the second. And she'll see a pair outside of the strike zone to begin her plate appearance here in the fifth. In Rome County, 10-1 coming into this one. 9-1 Doddridge, both atop the east. And this one's for positioning. 2-0 pitch, swung on, ripped foul. Count moves to two and one. Great house on deck. Lady Raiders with this one, and then the sixth and seventh available. At the moment, they need four to come back here. And like we said the last inning, when you get a base runner on, you just gotta manufacture some runs. You don't have to try to get it all back. It's not panic time yet. 2-1 pitch, low and away, 3-1 and one to Harlan. You certainly want to get something going with your offense just to give you a little, bit of, a little bit of confidence going into these last couple of innings. Three one pitch down the middle and that one sent hard over into right field. And a single for Piper Harlan, Harlan sorry. And Roan County has the first two batters aboard, first and second now. And Carly Greenhouse stepping in. She struck out in the first and then flew out to center field in the third, 0 for 2 on the day. Well, if you notice, so Harlan had some different shoes on. First pitch, boy, a healthy swing that time. Greenhouse, if she could catch that one. Yeah, she's trying to find one that she can drive. Struggled a bit early in this ball game. First couple of at-bats really wants to get on the board here. Next pitch low, Great House lays off. Count evens one apiece. Caden Steele on deck. We're in the top of the fifth, game one of two. Rome County trailing Doddridge six to two. One, one pitch high and tight, two and one. Obviously, not all is not lost if you don't win this first game if you're Roan County. You got another one to try to win. Keeps you in the hunt for first place. 2-1 pitch. That one ripped right at the left fielder. It's going to drop in, though. I was worried for a second that Great House Matt hit it too hard and that Dolly would have gotten to it. Back-to-back -back singles for Roan County, and they are building here. Bases loaded and Caden Steele at the plate. Nobody out here. Is this going to be the inning? Steele 0 for 2. A pop fly and a ground out both to second. First pitch, squaring to bunt, backing off, and Steele will see strike one. And we've seen Steele hit. 
Couple over the fence here early in the, uh, throughout this season. Next pitch missing low. Certainly has the ability. Probably be a no better time than right now if she can yeah. find one to drive. Well, good sign. Lacey Mitchell, who took that shot at the end of the last inning, is in the on-deck circle. Yeah, she was up walking around in between innings and seemed to be okay. So, 1-1 one, one pitch, opposite field, foul ball, though. Steel now behind, 1-2, and two, protect the plate time. Base yeah. is loaded, no one out here in the top of the fifth, and the potential tying run at the plate. And if you've got no outs here, I mean, you'd love not to – waste this at bat if you can just put one into play and uh, give yourself a shot to get something across the plate. Infield playing in. One two pitch low and a throw down to second and we've seen DeHaven do that three or four times. It's a really interesting move because it might keep or it might uh, catch the runner out at second off base and not thinking. Two and two the count. You know, be careful, though, if that's a, that ball gets bobbled a little bit, you got a runner on third ready to come home. The 2-2 two -two pitch, that one called, strike three at the knees, and down goes Steele. That is strikeout number seven of the day for Curran. And the first out of the top of the fifth issue, Lacey Mitchell ripped a single and scored in the first, struck out in the third, one for two. So he's got RBIs on the pond here. First pitch, fastball right down Main Street, and Mitchell knew it, and she was like, dang it, should have swung at that one. Yeah, that was a perfect, Might be the best perfect, one you'll see. perfect belt high pitch in the inside corner would have been a good one to get a hold of. Oh, one delivery, that one is good too, right at the glove of the shortstop, and they are going to double off the runner, and Roan County gets nothing. Oh, what a play by Lipscomb at short. That was a line shot right at the bottom of the glove. She grabbed it and doubled off Harlan at second. And just as quick as the excitement came, it is all gone. Down to the bottom of the fifth we go. 6-2 Bulldogs on top. We move into the bottom of inning number five. The inning's getting shorter and shorter for Roan County, and you saw a golden opportunity missed in the top of the fifth inning. Lady Raiders had the bases loaded with nobody out, and they get nothing. A strikeout by Curran, followed by a rip shot line drive off the bat of Lacey Mitchell right at the shortstop's glove, and a double off play to finish off the opportunity. No runs, three hits. No errors and two left on. And into the bottom of the fifth we go. Roan County trailing 6-2. to two. McKenna Curran to the plate first. Bats lefty pops the first one up in the infield. Coming on and dropping it, though, is Boatwright. They have switched Boatwright and Steele from short to third and third to short. And Boatwright coming in on that one, Matt, staring the sun down, could not find that at the last second. Yeah, I mean, that sun is beating right down in to the left side of the field. You, you can, can see, see her yeah. right now. She's got the glove over the trying to shade the eyes. The sun will be down behind the school in just a few minutes, but in the meantime, it's causing problems. Smith squares the bunt, fouls it off. 0-1 the counts. Smith 0 for 1, walked in the first inning, struck out in the third. 
Roan County held the lead after the half, first half inning, two to nothing. Since then, six runs for the Bulldogs. This pitch gets away, and that's going to send Curran into scoring position. That has been a massive difference here, the fact that the Bulldogs have been running the bases and getting in scoring position because the Lady Raiders have four errors, two of which scored runs. Swing and a miss by Smith. In close games with good teams, it's those small things that really make a difference. Yeah, they just uh, continues to add up or continues to pile on. One, two count to Smith. Here comes the pitch, missing inside, two and two. Rome County got out of a bases loaded jam in the fourth to shut down the Bulldog offense for the first time. And they'll have to fight back with the leadoff batter at second already. The 2 2 pitch swing at the high heat, and Smith goes down. Yeah, you just got to keep battling back. You know, Nicholson's really settled in here the last couple of innings, but. And like you said, the defense behind her has made a few miscues that's you know, really been the, the biggest difference in this four-run deficit. That's the fifth strike out of the day. Gagnon steps in, squares the bunt, fouls it off to begin with. Gagnon, 0 for 2, a pair of strikeouts today. Number eight hitter in the lineup. The damage done today, though, by hitters one through five. 0-1 pitch, swing and a miss, so and two. Number nine hitter, left fielder Shelby Dolly on deck. O2 pitch, call, strike on the inside corner. Back-to-back -back K's for Mahaley Nicholson, the area leader, and she has got six now. Two outs in the bottom of the fifth. Dolly 0 for 2, a strikeout and a ground out today. Wind continues to whip here up on the hill at Doddridge County High School. First pitch, swing and a foul ball. Lady Raiders in the top of the sixth will have Katie Young, Mahaley Nicholson, and Michaela Boatwright. That just makes you so much more frustrated when you see how the last inning ended. You had a chance to have a breakout inning. Swing and a miss on the 0-1 offering. Yeah, like, you, like you said, though, sometimes you know, the door opens wide open for you, and just as fast it slams flat square in your face. <laughs> Lady Raiders have two more at-bats available, so they'll have to start making some hay here pretty soon. Here's the 0-2 pitch. Chopper towards short. Boatwright fields it. Got to get it across quickly. Not in time. Called safe at first. Hustle play down the line there by Dolly. And she'll reach on the infield single. I mean, Boatwright made a nice play on that one. Made a good strong throw. Just, you know, just a hustle down the line. Made that one such a such a close play. So we'll have to see the top of the order again. Abby Kelly's been on base all day. Three times. Scored twice. Runners at the corners. First pitch missing low. And obviously... Heading down to second with no throw is Dolly. Yeah, Dodgers stole the base. <laughs> really? <laughs> Would have never guessed. Here's the 1-0 pitch, swing and a miss by Kelly. I've just been doing such a great job of, you know, advancing runners, ba you know, good base running by the, uh, you know, from top to bottom on this Bulldog team is what's really let them capitalize and get this 6-2 to two lead. Kelly officially one for one on the day. She's reached on a pair of walks. She did have a double in the second. Next pitch low, two and one. Two outs, runners on second and third. Bottom of the fifth. Pitch upstairs, three and one. All right, be ready for it if it's there, drive. Let's go. Keep fighting through this one if you're Nicholson. 3-1 pitch popped up high into the sky. This is dangerous. Moving back into the outfield and dropping it again is Boatwright. One run will score. Get down, get down, Here get comes down, the second down. run in, and that will plate as well. What an effort by Boatwright, Matt. Just on the last step, 
It hit the glove while she hit the foot on the turf, and that was it. She fell over and did not was not able to make the grab. Yeah, again, just battling the sun on that left side. And that was a tough play. She was out into the outfield trying to make a play on that one. Tough angle. Unfortunate for Roan County because that's going to let two score with two outs. And now if you're Roan County, you got to be extra careful because we are in the fifth, and the potential winning run is at the plate now. Yeah, you definitely <laughs> want to try to get out of this one with no more damage done and you try to give your offense a, another chance. Lexi Paul swings. This one ripped at Coach Azell. Uh, another fancy Man, play. two for two over there. You've got one heck of a fielding percentage here today. They call it the hot corner hey, for a reason, I suppose. Out there at second base. Oh, one the count. Yeah, he didn't have a bit of trouble fighting the sun on that line drive. <laughs> oh, one the count to Paul. Swings, fouls this one away. Paul's had an interesting day at the plate. She's 0 for 3 officially. She had a sacrifice bunt in the first, a sack RBI in the second, and reached on a fielder's choice in the fourth. But you Behind say the she's uh, doing her job, though. Yes, doing the job. <laughs> it's been effective. 0-2 pitch popped up. Right side of the infield moving in is Mitchell, but Nicholson will call her off and end the inning. A, par a pair more across, though, for the Bulldogs. They lead by six as we move to the top of the sixth inning. Rome County to the plate after this. We welcome you back to Doddridge County High School in the softball facility just behind the school. Game one of two here between the top two teams in the LKC East at the moment. It's the Bulldogs, the home team, holding serve. They added two more in the bottom of the fifth, two runs on just one hit, two more errors defensively for Roan County. They have struggled today with errors. They now have five. And we move to the top of the sixth inning, Lady Raiders Two more at-bats to make some hay here. Katie Young to lead it off in the sixth. Young with that two RBI double back in the first inning. Represents the only runs that have scored. Want to know the count as Curran misses low to begin this at-bat. Young, Nicholson, Boatwright, the first three. one offering, Young goes opposite field, rips this one high and deep. That's over the head of the right fielder. Young rounding first, heading to second. And she will stay at second. Two doubles now on the game for the senior catcher. And that will obviously help give Roan County a little bit of boost here. Yeah, Young's just seen the, seen the ball very well with her at-bats, a couple of doubles in the ball game. She's got the only two RBIs in the game for Roan County. Let's we'll see if we can get something across the board. Because if not, I mean, this is going to you know, not bode well for Roan County if we can't get something here. As per usual, Lexi Burdett pinch running. Mahaley Nicholson at the plate. First pitch swings hard, fouls that one off. Nicholson struck out in the first inning to end the inning and then grounded out on a sacrifice in the fourth. Yeah, and statistically, one of the top hitters in the state of West Virginia. Been above 700 the majority of the first half of the year, right up near there still. Jumps on that one and misses, 0-2. Rome County down by six. They had a gold opportunity in the last inning. They're trying to manufacture another one here. 0-2 pitch off speed, and Nicholson, a good piece of hitting, catches it. Stays alive. Lady Raiders had bases loaded in the top half of the fifth with nobody out and got zilch. That yeah, was painful to watch. That's just how this ball game's gone. Roan County has not been able to 
take advantage of a couple of key opportunities. And the Dodgers Bulldogs have jumped on every opportunity that's been presented to them. Another 0-2 opportunity here. Nicholson digs in. O2 pitch, swing and a miss, and down goes Nicholson for the second time today. Got caught on the high cheese. Another one of your kindred spirits, Drew. Yep. Those high heaters, hard to hit and hard to lay off of. Now to bring in Boatwright. She is one for two. And a single back in the second inning. First pitch from Curran upstairs. One and zero the count. Young's pinch runner Bedette out at second off of the leadoff double. One zero -oh pitch. This one jams the batter boat right a swinging bunt down the third baseline. And the home plate umpire called the play off. I'm thinking that may have hit her off of the foot. Yep, that's what happened. So. It'll just be a foul ball, so one and one the count. Almost a blessing in disguise if you're boat right, because you were out. Now you get another swing at it. Yeah, another chance to try to put one in play. High and tight again, two and one. Callie Williams on deck. I'm counting again here in the top of the sixth inning, down six. We still got another one to go after this. 2-1 pitch, that one low. And the runner advances towards third. Wait, that was a strike? Wow. Yikes. Huh. A called strike through, I only had two and one on mine, that's because I'm slow. And I don't pay enough attention. So a strikeout there and a confirmed strikeout, but that allows the runner to advance to third. But you now have two outs here in the top of the sixth inning. Callie Williams to the plate. Swings at the high heater. Oh, and one the count. Struck out in the second and popped out on a bunt attempt to DeHaven behind the plate in the fourth. Off speed out in front of that one. Kern mixing it up nicely here. Oh, and two. Oh, two pitch called strike three on the inside corner. And Roan County goes down without a fight after the leadoff double by Young. They get nothing. And we move to the bottom of the sixth, eight to two. Doddridge on top. Moving into the bottom of inning number six, Roan County trailing Doddridge in game one of two here today from Doddridge County High School, eight to two. Lady Raiders just have not been able to capitalize on the few opportunities they've had. The biggest came in the fifth when they had bases loaded and nobody out, and they got nothing. A couple of big plays defensively, though, helped the cause of the Bulldogs. They've been perfect defensively. Meanwhile, Roan County has given up eight runs, and... Only five of those are earned, which means five errors have cost Roan County a couple of young, uh, runs here. 
But they have one more opportunity. Got to get out of the bottom of this sixth inning, and then you'll have one more chance at the plate. It's in the top of the seventh. In the bottom of the sixth, we'll see three, four, five. Lipscomb to the plate first. The shortstop who made that massive play, pulling the line drive from Mitchell off of the dirt and doubling off the runner. She's also two for three at the plate. RBI double and a single in this one. 1-0 pitch, check swing, doesn't matter, called strike on the outside corner. 1-1, one one. Lipscomb followed by C and DeHaven. First three to come to the plate in the bottom of the sixth. Next pitch, Lipscomb catching a piece, fouls it away. And Nicholson ahead in the count, one and two. For Rome County, they'll have 9-1-2 coming to the plate to begin the Top of the seventh. One two pitch off speed action and Lipscomb out in front. And a strikeout issued by Nicholson. Yeah, we've seen Nicholson take a little bit off here and there in this ball game, but that time really pulled the string. Second or seventh strikeout of the day for Mahaley. Adding to her area leading total. Came in with 178. She now has 185. Olivia C to the plate. First pitch, strike at the belt. C grounded back to Nicholson in the first, walked the next two times in the third and fourth innings. Stole a base back in the third and scored. Next pitch, late swing, fouls it back. And Nicholson ahead in the count, 0 and 2. Rome County again trailing eight to two. They scored first at the top of the first with two runs. And they've been blanked ever since by Curran in the defense. Next pitch, ground ball to the catcher Young. Meanwhile, the Bulldogs got three in the bottom of the first, added one more in the second, two more in the third, and two more in the fifth. One two pitch, swing and a miss, and strikeout number two of the inning and number eight of the game. Issued by Mahaley Nicholson. That'll bring up the catcher, DeHaven. Singled, scored on an error in the first. Sack RBI in the third. And grounded out to Mitchell in that play that caught Mitchell on the leg. And she is still, as I'm watching over there, not 100%. I'm watching her limp around at first. First pitch called strike. O one one offering, low and inside. Certainly nice to see the sun falling behind the clouds a little bit for the moment. It's getting cool things down just a, just tiny a little bit. bit. One one pitch, fastball outside corner. One and two now to DeHaven. Swing and a miss, high heater. Oh, did we get a strike out there? What did we miss? Because she didn't give her enough time to Okay, so that pitch that would have been strike three does not count. Count still one and two now to DeHaven. Nicholson thought she had struck out the side here in the sixth. You got it, Reed. No one better, kid. No one better. So Nicholson will have to do it again here. Two and two the count. Now Nicholson taking a little extra time trying to gather her thoughts. 2-2 pitch off speed, just missing outside. 
And the count now full to DeHaven. On deck is the pitcher, Curran. Rome County down by six runs here in the bottom of the sixth, trying to get to the top of the seventh and give themselves one final chance. And that one missing high and outside, and that is ball four. So Nicholson almost went as perfect as you could get there, Matt. Almost three strikeouts. She'll have to seek Curran here. Curran walked and was stranded in the first, sack RBI in the third, reached on an error in the fourth and scored. Or in the fifth, sorry. First pitch, they're going to send to Haven down. The throw, not in time. One and oh, the count to current. Defense didn't do a great job of covering the bag on that one. Next pitch, little low, gets away and. The Haven just continuing to run. She did that in the first inning. She got herself to third and then ended up scoring on a error. 2-0 the count to Curran. This one chopped towards short, fielded by Boatwright cleanly and on the run, not in time. And Curran beats the throw. A couple of times we've seen Boatwright, Matt, field it perfectly, throw it perfectly, and just didn't get it in time. These hustlers for Doddridge, and that will tack on one more run. And now you got to be careful, Matt, because the winning run here at the bottom of the six is at first. Yeah, it was a good defensive play by Boatwright. I mean, she even threw that one on the run yeah. off the wrong foot and made a perfect strike. It just... Curran with too much speed down the line. Again, she was batting from left side. Got a little extra, a that, little head start there. That little jump is all she needed. Jada Smith, oh, and too quickly to her as Nicholson goes right back to firing strikes. Nine two, the lead is seven for the Bulldogs. Oh, two pitch, missing inside, one and two. Again, Roan County in their final at bat. If they get to it, we'll have hitters 9, 1, and 2 coming to the plate. That's how that fifth inning started was 9, 1, 2. Smelko singled, followed by Harlan single, and then Great House a single, bases loaded. And Roan County ended up with nothing in the inning. 1-2 pitch. This one chopped high right at the pitcher, and that will be Nicholson for out number three. One more tacked on though by the Lady Bulldogs. They lead by seven. Roan County needs that or more or the game will end there. We welcome you back to Doddridge County High School. Here we go, top of the seventh inning. Roan County trails by seven runs, nine to two in the first of two today. The two top teams in the LKC East battling today. Roan County, they need seven at least to extend. Fair Smelko leading it off, swings at the first pitch and misses. Had a nice swinging bunt in the fifth inning to lead off that big potential inning. That the Lady Raiders had bases loaded and no one out. They ended up with nothing, though. 0-2 oh, is Smelko, the running swing on the second opportunity. So the freshman will have to protect here. Lefty versus lefty. 0-2 oh, pitch, swing and a miss, and Smelko goes down quickly. Lead off, lead off. 
That's strikeout number 11 on the day for Curran. And just two more outs for the Raiders in this one. They're trailing seven here on top of the seventh. Got to get something going. Harlan one for two with a single. Scored a run back in that first inning after walking. First pitch from Curran upstairs, 1-0 count. Great outs on deck, steal in the hole. And Roan County needs base runners first. 1-0 pitch popped up, very shallow right field. That's dangerous, but Paul ends it quickly, getting into shallow right field for the put out. Quickly down to their final out go the Lady Raiders. Carly Greathouse was 0 for 2 before that fifth inning single. And she ripped that one. A line drive into left field. Off speed goes Curran. Great house out in front. 0 and 1. Curran rocks and fires. Swing and a miss. 0 and 2. Rome County down to their final strike now. O2 pitch and Greathouse stays alive, pops it foul out of play. Just a good job get a piece of that one. Yeah, if ever there was a time for a two out rally, this is it. It's your last chance here in game one. 0-2 pitch popped up high in the sky. This is going to be tough. Moving into the outfield, though, and making the grab is Lipscomb for out number three. And Rome County defeated in game one of the doubleheader by a final of 9-2. to two. We'll take a break for our sponsors. Come back. We'll recap, give you the statistics and the, player, the players of the game after this.
And we welcome you back to the softball complex here at Doddridge County High School. Game one of our doubleheader. It was the Lady Bulldogs taking care of the Lady Raiders 9-2. to two. In this ball game, it got started quickly and effectively for Roan County. Two runs in the top of the first inning to take a quick lead off the bat of Katie Young as she drilled a two RBI double. In the bottom of the first, three runs across though for the Bulldogs, including a couple that crossed by way of error defensively. That was a sign of things to come, unfortunately, for Roan County. Lady Raiders blank throughout the rest of the ball game. Meanwhile, Doddridge added a run in the second, two in the third, and two in the fifth, one more in that sixth, as Roan County unable to get back into things. The Lady Raiders had one really good opportunity when they trailed by four six to two in that fifth inning they got three straight base hits they had the bases loaded with no one out and they got nothing with the meat of the order at the plate a strikeout and then a line drive pulled off the turf by the shortstop Lipscomb and then doubling off the runner at second ending Roan County's threat just as quickly as it got started Individually, for uh, sorry, team statistics for the Bulldogs, nine runs on six hits, five errors defensively for Roan County. That was a killer, and seven left on base for Roan County. They actually out-hit Doddridge, seven hits, just two runs, one error defensively for the Bulldogs. They were very good, and six left on base. Mahaley Nicholson takes the loss here today. It was an up-and-down day for her six innings of work. She did strike out eight, but she walked seven batters here, gave up six hits, nine runs, only four. Of those nine, though, were earned runs for Mahaley Nicholson. Offensively, Piper Harlan one for three with a run scored and a walk today. Carly Greathouse goes one for four with a single. Cadence Steele, a tough day at the plate. She was 0 for three. Lacey Mitchell, one for three with a run scored. Katie Young had the big bat today, two for three, two doubles, and two RBIs for the senior catcher. Mahaley Nicholson, tough at the plate as well, 0 for three. One for three was Boatwright with a single. Callie Williams, 0 for three, and Ferris Melko finished one for three. Matt, just one of those things that uh, the Bulldogs were with it here in this one, and Roan County, uh, they made some mistakes early, got a little tight uh, playing uh, defensively, and just could never solve the uh, McKenna Curran uh, problem who ended up by the way with 11 strikeouts in this game herself we saw two of the best in the conference today in game one yeah I mean I think overall you know like you said it's just uh, one of those things when the other team gets all the bounces you know we had plenty of opportunities in this one especially that big one with the bases loaded and couldn't get anything across uh, just a tough game overall for the uh, the offense Defense struggled a little bit in the field at times, uh, just a lot of time in key situations. And we just got to come give a lot of credit to Doddridge County. They had a good game plan. They came in running bases, running hard, you know, advancing runners, sacrificing. They just put the ball in play in key situations when they needed to. And just ended up putting more runs on the board. And uh, just unfortunate. But you got to shake it off. That's just game one. We got another one to play. You know, bit of an emotional day here for Doddridge County as well. It's their senior, senior evening. They're honoring their. Uh, three seniors that are on the roster here in between the games. So, uh, yeah, just uh, dust yourself off, uh, go get you something to drink, maybe grab you an orange or something and get ready for game two. You absolutely have to have a short memory because although that game hurt, that's not the end of it. You come back here, you get this one here tonight, you put yourself in hey, a great position. Still a lot well. more to play for in game two. A lot more to play for. Before we go away here for just a second to get set for the second game, Matt White, time for you to distribute our Willard C. Starcher Auto Parts Player of the Game Awards. Now offensively, it's uh, it's probably a pretty easy pick. It's got to be Katie Young. She was two for three, two RBIs with two doubles. Uh, really had a lot of the offense uh, the only offense runs on the board for Rome County. Defensively, it's a little tougher. I mean, uh, but I think I think Callie Williams played well over at second. She had a really nice, you know, diving backhanded stop, glove flip over to short uh, for the put out. Nearly turned a double play, but you know, so that's uh, congratulations to those two young ladies, uh, Katie Young. And Callie Williams, our Willard C. Starch Auto Parts players of the game for game one. We'll send it back to the studio real quick while we get set and get prepped up here for game number two. So stick around here on WVRC. We'll be back with game two, Roan County versus Doddridge County, just after this.